What's going on YouTube? It's What's the Hype back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to dress like Tyler the Creator and more specifically his recent style to fit in with the LaFleur aesthetic. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I post similar content. Let's get it. Before we get into the pieces, I've broken down the color palette as he's worn very similar colors in his recent outfits so this will make it a lot easier when you are searching for pieces you'll know what kind of colors to stick with if you want a similar look looking at the individual colors you're going to want to look for creams pale yellows some pale oranges light blues and browns ranging from like a carhartt brown to like a chocolate color and in a recent video i watched he said everything he's designed recently is supposed to go with brown so now that you know the colors and tones you should be looking for when you're picking up clothing items, I'll get into what exact items you should be looking up, and then I'll show you after that where you can go pick them up. And once again, I'll be showing price points ranging from anybody can afford them, the affordable ones, to like some higher quality, more expensive pieces. Starting from the bottom and working our way up, Black Loafers is his go-to pair of shoes lately with some sort of brown pair of work pants. Usually up top, he's got like a sweater, a cardigan, some sort of knit, and then on his head, he usually wears the Ushanka. Looking at loafers, a good go-to beginner option is the Doc Martin Adrian Tassel loafers. These were really popular the last year. GH Bass also offers a few different models that I really like, and they're all a little over $100. If you've seen my videos before, you probably know I'm a fan of ALD and he has worn an older model. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I added a picture of that and they have the red liner inside. It's a really nice colorway. A step up in price point, but a brand I've been feeling lately is our legacy and they offer some really nice models of the loafer on Essence right now in all black colorways. You definitely don't need these, but the Prada loafers are kind of a flex, so I thought I'd add them. He consistently wears a lighter shade of brown pair of work pants and I was trying to find a good 874 model of these and it was hard to find but the duck brown colorway if you can find it in store it looked like they had it here for $50 is probably your best bet as these look really similar in my opinion. If you'd like to save an extra $20 he also wears a dark brown pair and I think these are most resembled to the 874 in the dark brown colorway and if you don't want the 874 fit I'd recommend for a slimmer one you can also find for the same exact price point on Dickies online. When it comes to tops and knitwear Lacoste had a lot of really good similar options he's also been seen wearing Lacoste sweaters before so I would check these out on eBay. If you'd like a sweater without the Lacoste logo, I would recommend just going on eBay, looking up vintage cardigan or vintage sweater, and then sorting it by the colors you'd like to see, and then just scrolling trying to find the right ones. As you can see, just from me scrolling a little bit, there were a lot of options. I really couldn't find a good alternative to this button up he wears, as it is pretty unique. The colorway is very unique. And this one I thought kind of looked the same. It's the best option you're gonna find for the price. I would instead just look for like, plain or like plaid button ups that he's also seen wearing in similar colorways so you can pick these up for really cheap on ebay the ushanka has kind of become his recent like headwear staple piece i feel like what people know him for and he wears the golf la floor one however this is pretty expensive so i added some cheaper alternatives throughout and i think that when i was looking it said like the east german ones were thin so you might want to wear that one as fits a bit easier but i also found some similar colorways from like russian ones you might want to remove the pin though in my opinion i think it would look better without it and then finally i really like the supreme one and it's something i could see him wearing as well Hopefully this helps you out. If there's anything you really need to invest money in, I would say the loafers are worth spending the extra money to get a high quality pair that'll last you a while. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching and for 1k, I can't believe it. Let's get it. I'll see you next time. Peace.